We're in Malacca, Malaysia, and we're taking you on a breakfast food tour. There is going to be tons of delicious food, and we're filming with another food YouTuber, Luke Martin. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. First stop on the breakfast tour is Mi Goreng, fried noodles. But the locals call it Mi Bodo, which means stupid noodles. It is made up of these wok fried yellow noodles. I can see bean sprouts. There's a dollop of sambal on there, which looks super fiery. And then some beautiful shredded cucumber, which is fresh. And then there's this incredible looking egg. It was deep fried in a, like a huge ladle of sambal and it is just fiery red. I cannot wait to get into this. So we're here with our mate Luke Martin who also has a YouTube channel. Hey guys. And we are so excited yeah. to be eating this. Bring it on. Yeah. These noodles look incredible. Let's give them a huge old mix up. The noodles are just glistening with that sambal. Like the oil from the sambal is just coated the noodles and it looks so good. I'm gonna get a spoonful of noodles um, and a bit of cucumber for freshness. I'll get some cucumbers in there too. Do it. All right. All right, let's go. salty too but really spicy like that is just mm. a whole mouth spice yeah like your whole mouth is just tingling that is so beautiful yeah that's delicious it's a really simple dish though yeah yeah but it's really just you can taste the wok in there and the way that he's cooking yeah. it is amazing let's try this egg yeah. oh my gosh it just looks incredible and i reckon if we break into that yolk it's just going to explode oh, yeah. everywhere look at that oh, yeah. that is a perfect egg it is gorgeous all right i'm going to chuck some cucumber and a bit more sambal onto that as well all right cheers it's still it's a bit nothing mm. 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 Ah, that yolk is so creamy that is so far from overcooked that is perfect <laughs> egg I want to eat like that every morning. Yeah. So there's, on the table, there's also some ketchup manis, which is sweet soy sauce, and there's some vinegar. And we've seen the locals sort of add um, bits to their noodles, so I reckon we give it a go. I can imagine the vinegar would um, sort of cut through the heaviness of uh, the noodles. So let's taste and see. Alright. I love vinegar on anything, it's good. Yeah, absolutely. You need that. Yeah. Vinegar is a must on the Mi Bordeaux. That is a sensational start to our breakfast tour. Definitely. <laughs> These are incredible. Incredible. They're very spicy. The sambal just coats the noodles. These are like no Mi Goreng I've ever had. That amount of sambal, that crazy good egg, it just goes together so so well remember down below in the description we always put the restaurant details so you too can try out these places and today we'll also have Luke's channel down there make sure you check him out he does incredible food content so when you finish this video hit subscribe if you haven't already and then head straight to Luke's channel binge watches because you'll be stuck there for hours getting really hungry watching his content and hit subscribe on his channel too I love these noodles and watching them cook them here this place is absolutely ragingly busy. It's really early in the morning. We've come here at 8.30 in the morning. And the locals are piling in. There's a guy with a huge wok just cooking, cooking, cooking those noodles and tossing them in the huge wok. Getting that real wok egg through the dish and that flavor. And you can tell that that wok has been cooking noodles for years. And then there's the eggs cooking, just sitting in the oil, bubbling away. And they're just so soft and perfectly cooked, covered in that sambal and in that oil. Match made in heaven. And we can see why this place is raging because it is so good. And if you're in Malacca, you have to put this on your list of places to try. Incredible dish. Oh, I forgot to say, the stupid noodle thing. We don't actually know why it's called that. I asked the staff here, 
and he said it's because of the customers but I don't think he was meaning the customers are stupid I think he meant the customers came up with the name and we're not really sure why Luke had a really good option though he thinks it's called that because it's stupidly good so I'm gonna go with Luke's decision because it is stupidly good next stop Malaysia's national dish we're heading in for a nasi lemak on to our second stop for nasi lemak so to break this dish down we have the sort of the center of the dish and one of the most important parts the rice the rice is always cooked in coconut milk so it has a really fragrant coconut taste and there'll be pandan leaves in there while it's cooked to really give it a fragrant fragrant taste second most important part of this dish the sambal and this one is quite dark so it might be a little bit sweeter although it has a real fiery sort of oil coming out of it but often when they're darker it's because they've cooked down a little bit more so the sugars come out of the out of the sambal but we'll have to taste that to know for sure we've got the half boiled egg we've got the cucumbers just to freshen it up we've got ikan bilis which is the fried anchovies but the really exciting thing on this plate is this entire quail so a deep fried whole quail that's gonna be really interesting to try it looks like it's really juicy still let's just get in and try i'm gonna try the rice and the sambal oh the rice is quite dry oh and nice but it falls apart so it's not all gluggy let's get some rice and some sambal oh it is really sweet that sambal it's got a little like tingering kick afterwards or lingering kick but it's not that spicy at all oh and the rice it's so soft and fluffy let's rip open some of this quail though wow so there's not much flesh on it really i'll just go for a bit of this leg meat it is so juicy so we have some quail let's get some rice and some sambal. Now Luke is filming his one at the moment, so we're gonna eat this together in a minute. So don't worry, we haven't lost Luke. Oh, the quail. That is perfectly cooked. Sometimes with whole deep fried things like this, they can go over, I find, like get a bit too overcooked. But that is so juicy. This is great. I can't wait to get right and pile all these ingredients together and try this out and to see what Luke thinks. Luke has jumped in and tried his first bite. What did you think? Oh, it's so good. This quail is unreal. It's super juicy on the inside. He just suggested that we go for a big bite just to try the quail. And Luke Luke was mentioning in his video that the quail is um, is breaded and it, well, it has spice on it, some sort of mix. So it's got some flavoring. So we're just gonna go in yeah. for a big bite of quail yeah. by itself. Right on the brass. All right, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Mm. Oh, it's got a bit of a gaminess in that breast meat. Mm -hmm. It's a bit darker than the leg meat I have. Definitely. And the spice is very mild. There's mm -hmm. no like punchy flavor from the spice. It's the overriding taste is quail. I'd have to say the Beautiful. breast meat is a little bit drier than the Definitely. leg that I had for yeah. sure. But Definitely. still really good. Yum. Mm -hmm. Now I think we should try everything. Yeah. Because before obviously I just had the rice and the sambal. Let's do a, a bite with these ikan bilis or these yep. anchovies so they add a real nice saltiness to the dish. Mm -hmm. We get the rice, we've got some sambal. I'm gonna rip off a bit of that quail. You're going for some leg oh. meat. Yep. Good to go? Yep. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, that saltiness. Mm -hmm. The ikan bilis. Just gonna pop another one of those in. Yeah, those are awesome oh. little crunchies really good yeah how they add the texture yeah so they give a, a saltiness and a textural element to the mm -hmm. dish mm -hmm. and then you've got these cucumbers that you can chase it all with so there's a bit of sweetness and spice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then that everything together it just goes so well it each works. component has its own unique taste saltiness spiciness sweet everything it just goes really well together perfect dish yeah and, and that quail too loving it, eh? <laughs> yeah the quail really adds to this dish and it's something so different to anything we've seen so yeah. these are going to be devoured very quickly, very quickly. <laughs> our final stop for the day is auntie ko's famous chindo now we have been here before we'll link our video up here but we just had to bring luke and his girlfriend sabrina because this is a must eat when you're in malacca yeah oh. i'm super excited let's go let's go 
So as I mentioned before, we have visited Auntie Ko previously. We'll link the video up there. The ice is melting rapidly in this channel and we have got to get in quick smart. So we're going to be filming for Luke's channel. Now what makes Auntie Ko's channel so special is that she makes the coconut milk fresh. So she got up last night at 1am to press 30, was it 30 yeah, she's coconuts. 30 coconuts yeah. Like this is as fresh as fresh gets. Yeah, that's so. about as fresh as it gets. And yeah, what this we looks got? amazing. We've got the, the little chindle noodles, right? Mm -hmm. And they're green from Pandan, which she actually also has right over in the in the back garden over here. So it is extremely fresh and this looks amazing. So there's also shaved ice and then there's gula malaka syrup, which is a sugar syrup from the coconut palm. Yeah. Let's just get in. Yeah. We can't let it melt. Wow. That coconut. Wow. It's so creamy, yeah, right? Yeah, it's so creamy and just you can just taste it's so fresh. And those little kind of like worm like noodles in there. <laughs> those have such a cool texture along with that shaved ice. But man, oh man, that coconut flavor. It's like almost like you're drinking coconut water but super 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 creamy too. Oh man, that's a, that's amazing. You can taste like we've eaten quite a bit of chendol, you can taste that is, that is as fresh as it gets really. This is quality right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another incredible day of food hunting. We've had so much fun hanging out with Luke. Remember, his channel is down in the description. Make sure you pop over there, hit subscribe. He is so worth following. An amazing food channel. We hope we inspired you to eat and explore like a traveler, not a tourist. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Jumpalagi! Jumpalagi!